Sorry, Frank. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday, 22nd of July, just after 8 o'clock. I'm up in the Atadale Estate and we're out to do Lord Moor and Cheesecake. Um, hopefully, either get in the bothy or pitch the tents next to the bothy. So it's a big day. Troops are all here. There's Robert, Paul, Tam's just saw it at the back of the motor there, just getting organised. So the weather is fantastic. Hope it holds. Uh, Looking forward to a good gene. So let's see how we go. That's about a quarter of an hour or so there. Basically, up very steep uphill, pushing the bike, carrying this big happy bike. It's great fun. <laughs> Enjoy ourselves, lads. Oh, it's fantastic, it's probably <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. fantastic. Anyway, we've got a wee bar of respite, and the sun is shining, glorious. So on we go. That's about an hour in. I'd have been better off bringing the dog and have taken my bike for a walk. Crank views back. It is mega steep. Should be good on the way back down, right enough. Cracking day is really, really nice. Just a nice breeze, keep the dreaded mudgy away. I think we're actually going to get a wee go in the bikes, a wee bit of flak run. <laughs> Apparently we're two thirds of the way there, so that could well be right enough because we are starting to go downhill and I would imagine that is Ermin Rose up in the cloud ahead, so all is good. That's how he's reached the bothy. What a setting. Stunning. I don't see any of the boys pitching tents, so that's a good sign. <laughs> You're through. What's your point caller? Oh, thank goodness for that. Hello. Tough going. Somebody in there. A three and a two, Brian. A three and a two. Let's have a breath for him. I've talked because he's got his set up there. A three and a two. Toss up, he's using an end with Paul. 
Oh. Oh, it just goes with two. Listen, that'd be easy. Yeah, might be better. Getting in with Paul Tam was on the, the jalapenos last night. Had the pictures. It wasn't good coming up in the motor. <laughs> Not bad at all. The old fire going later. Yes. Set up, bud. Set up, bud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just in this one. This is kind of set up. Okay. Tam's on the corner here. Robert. It's in here. There's Tam there. I'm over here. Ice Lane Quilt. <laughs> the Kathleen Pillow. <laughs> Neil there. I've got my silver foil and a wee bit of rubber for the anti slip. So we're just getting organised and then we are ready to go and tackle these two men rows. So I think it's about 8 mile all in. Sun splitting the trees, superb. I've just heard a little piece of paper. Do you want to be responsible for the key then? Well, uh, I can be if you want. Aye, that'll need it in here. Right, because I've got a little bit of a key order. Paul's in there. Balls in there. So, not a bad setup. Who's that for a view? Absolutely stunning. What a place. Reached the lock and this is a recommended route for Lord Moor and Buddy and Corey Cheesecake. So we are zigzagging up the onto the, the ridge here or the bialk between the two. So I think we'll be going right to Lord Moor and then go left and do cheesecake. We're getting there. Slow but surely. Stunning views. Right here. I'm 
Das fehlt mir eigentlich eher rein. Das war drin, das nicht gut. <lacht> So I just did a wee bite to eat, take on some fuel, we drink, and we are heading up for the moor. I'm sitting there on a bite to eat, like I said, and how's that? I went a distance here. What a view of the cooling ridge. That's our second target up there, cheesecake. Anyway, I'll cut cheese three up. Sorry, Frank. <laughs> so I was just leaving the summit of Lord Moore, the first member of the day. Views are outstanding, the weather's amazing. And we are now going to be heading up Cheesecake here. Look at the views behind it. The Torridon. And honestly, there's the, the cooling ridge in the distance here. I don't know if we can make it out on the GoPro, but it is absolutely stunning. Superb. So let's make our way up to the Dean Quarry Cheesecake and that behind me is the stunning Lord Moor. So boys just make our way up. Can they ask for a better day weather right like super up? I so it's more or less at the summit of Cheesecake, which is up there, but have a look at that. Oh my god, views to die for. Look at this, Cooling Ridge, amazing, absolutely stunning. And you've got all the Torridon Hills, absolutely amazing. Anyway, let's go.
I'm going to give you a wee panoramic from the summit of Cheesecake. I see the, the Coolings. Torridon Mountains. <laughs> ben A and Coat. Cheesecake and the bag. And that is Lord Moore. Our first mineral for the day. Thank views there. for there as well. And back down to the, the lock where we, we started. We made our way up the, to the Bialik. It is absolute summer, honestly. It's amazing. So, all downhill now and out to the the body away in the distance and sit and enjoy a few refreshments. Well deserved, I might add. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Well done, guys. Superb. Just a wee look back at the two main roads we've done today. So that was the first one, Lord Moore, and then across to Cheesecake, cracking day, beautiful weather, stunning views. So just basically try to lose some height, get down onto the the path I'll, alongside the lock and back out to the body. But it's been absolutely amazing. So looking forward to getting back to the body and getting some eat and a few beers. Yeah. Look, I've seen about the views, look, <laughs> Cam Stone and wait for somebody to take a photo, look at that, Killing Ridge, absolutely stunning. So I was back at the board, they all cleaned up. Time for scram. So, the wee speedster. Got this magic bell my wall. And I'm on chili and rice, the wayfarer. And, as you may have guessed, Williams Brothers, Rubus Grapefruit IPA. Well deserved, I might add. Twenty-seven, fed and watered, chilli and rice here, really nice. Um, as you can see, the sun is still shining. It is absolutely stunning. There's a nice wee bit of wind keeping all the threaded midges and stuff like that at bay. It is a cracking setting, it really is. A brilliant day. Quite tough. 
walking up um, the gully to get, reach the, the Balak between the two main roads. I think it was probably to do with the, the cycle in, doing a bit out of this. But um, we made it, we got there. So now we're just chilling. Um, boys are having a couple of drums, a few beers. We're going to have a wee look and see what's going on. You got a music going now? Is it Joy Walker? Yes, it is. Yeah, here. Tom's got the cheese, spicy cheddar, and biscuits. And a bottle of Glava, courtesy of Paul, I think. Have you dirty water, mate? Oh, that's good, dirty water. Can I get the clean water off me? <laughs> I'm on the Six States IPA. So, you're going to sit and have a wee chilled night. Except for me and Tom. Me, me, me work together. Yeah, yeah. We work together. Everybody else. There's my mates for it now, walking and that. There's another. No, mate, that's so right. There's another few. Another you couldn't two. make it tonight. Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's another few. Robert goes out with separate. You know what I mean, but it's a wee community. Oh, that's definitely. Cool. Like that. That's mate. That's how good YouTube is. We're all yeah, made together. Yeah, yeah. So there's a positive. I, I think it's amazing. Yeah, I, I, I think, think it's so amazing. So who was it? Was it you or Paul? Or I just watched Paul's videos and I... No, but one of you's the same... Paul, I can't remember about right you. How did we meet? I think collectively, Tam and I said, we'll, meet, we'll go for a camp in... Glenetta. Uh, Glenetta. Was that so before... Long, uh, long ago. just before long ago. Edith, and then we said, I'll, I'll watch that with you then. And we said, I'll have a group. And then I think you were in... And then so we end up the Lost Valley. Lost Valley. Valley. That's right. The Lost Valley camp was class. We've got a, we've got a chap who was uh, and Andy from Essex. This is a story. This is a, story. This is a classic and, uh, story, Tom. <laughs> this is mountain bonding. He, he, he sent me a. My channel's not big like yours, but he sent me a few comments. Sort of. Oh, he was asking about doing the roads. He was saying how he stays in Essex. He loves to, you know, he loves to do that. He just he has to stay from kind of a normal kind of a day to day life and stuff, and then. He commented for a few times and then we were to call going camping and he commented us as well. You can camp at the weekend. Do you fancy it? But you have to drive all the way up to Essex. And he says, I'll come. So he drove all the way up 
to Glenn The McCoy. guy is about six foot. He's built like a brick shit of us. Yeah. But he's a he lovely. He eats some silent so the... and a lana. Do you Time's rolling on and we're all getting ready. Maybe to go to bed? No? No, I don't think so. And the I'll do what we can do. God bless the staff. Good morning. 27, that's me. Suited and booted, ready to go. Just a wee cup of ramen noodle soup. Paul and Robert, they're away about an hour ago. Um, so Dave's just set off, and myself and Dan, we were the last to go, so it's nice and dry. We got windy, but ideal. Crack night. Really enjoyed it. 